Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Well, brothers and sisters, as we continue on our Lenten journey, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that school through Lenten observers and nourished by your word, through holy restraint, we may be devoted to you with all our heart and may be ever united in prayer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people and said, Now Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter in and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. Therefore, I teach you the statutes and decrees as the Lord my God has commanded me, that you may observe them in the land you are entering to occupy. Observe them carefully, for thus will you give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nation who will hear of all these statutes and say, This great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that has gods so close to it as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call upon him? Or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are as just as this whole law, which I am setting before you today. However, take care and be earnestly on your guard, not to forget the things which your own eyes have seen, nor let them slip from your memory as long as you live, but teach them to your children and to your children's children. The word of the Lord. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children with it. He sends forth his command to the earth, swiftly runs his word. He spreads snow 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Law, law, relationship, how the individual relates to the state and the state relates to the individual and thus how individuals relate to one and with each other. Law, how the Israelites are to relate to God and God to them. Jesus says the law is summed up by Love the Lord thy God with all thy strength, heart, and soul, and love thy neighbor as thyself. What we see here now is a transformation emphasis from negative law to positive law. Negative law, thou shalt not. No, thou shalt not. Kill, steal, commit adultery, lie. This is chapter 5 go on to the end of chapter 7 between those two points Jesus is saying do a positive law do which you admit is much harder than a negative do love, do forgive do have charity, mercy what is happening now is that we are entering into the life far more deeply of the life of God, the Trinitarian God a community of love Yes, there was the love between Israelite and God, but now the word incarnate is before us, saying, enter more deeply into that relationship with God. Enter into that love. Let me put it to you uh, another way. Let's go back in time, back in time to when you were five years old. Is that child gone? No, that child has been fulfilled. Oh, that child did love and was loved. There's also a great deal of negative law. Don't do this. Don't run with scissors. Don't scream in the house. Don't hit your sister with the dog. Number of negative laws and emotions and love. And now as an adult, emotions, love, relationship, they are fulfilled. That five-year-old now is fulfilled in you as an adult. As the very old saying goes, the child is the parent of the adult. It is now Lent. We are clearing out, making ready. Let us not just clear things out to the bare earth and just leave them there and be indifferent. Let us clear out so that the seed of the word may come among us, sprout up, and produce a rich crop. Do not be indifferent to the love of God. Jesus has a special point about that, with the, about the indifferent. Love and hate are not the opposite of each other. Why? Both are emotional entanglements. The opposite of love is indifference. Eh. Do not be indifferent. 
Engage in that relationship of love with Christ. Do. And as you go out, thus entering into the life of God, you will now relate to each other as God relates to himself with the Trinity and with us. Therefore, go out, love, and do. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the prayers of your people along with these sacrificial offerings, and defend those who celebrate your mystery from every kind of danger, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that free from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so as they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Thomas our Bishop, Robert his assistant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her son, to the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. On your Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should be under my roof, but only to say word, and my soul shall be.
Let us pray. May the heavenly banquet at which we have been fed sanctify us, O Lord, and cleansing us of all errors, make us worthy of your promises from on high, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bend your heads for the blessing, please. Give to your people, our God, a resolve that is pleasing to you, for by conforming them to your teachings, you bestow on them every favor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mass has ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.